you know, anytime you go on the road, we were coming off a good road win at South Carolina. And so uh, anytime you can break through on the road, I think it gives your guys confidence that if we stay to the approach that we took from the last game and executed our game plan, we would have a chance. We knew going in there, we had success last year. Not many teams do. I think it's the first time in the history of our program that we've won back-to-back -back games in Memorial Gymnasium. A year ago, Marshall Mania started here at Memorial when Henderson knocked down a buzzer beater and Ole Miss snapped a six-game losing streak in Nashville. Tonight, the rematch. Ole Miss and Vandy starts now on CSS. Situation and then the fancy finish. Moats had it poked away from behind. And the basket by Newby and a quick run here by the Rebels as they jump out to a six point lead in the corner. And there's Ladarius White. Snoop White banks it in. Eight point lead for the Rebels. We just took the, uh, we took the momentum. You know, at first they had momentum and, and they went on their run and the crowd got into it. and. We was like, man, we can't lose this game. We got to stay together and, and make plays and, and win this ball game. And, and that's what we did. We made plays. Perez. That's a three-pointer. The Rebels, a balanced attack so far, but they are playing very well here in Nashville. He misses to the tip in by Aaron Jones. Rebels getting production on a size. Anthony Perez, Aaron Jones, all their big guys. Nice job here tonight at Memorial Gym. And Perez with a strong finish on the other end. Ole Miss pushing it down the court. Ole Miss in charge here, up by 11. We were up big nine at the half and really in control of the game. We knew, like every game, the opposing team is going to make a run, most especially when it's in their home venue. Uh, Vanderbilt's a proud program. The program's had a lot of success. And as I said earlier, they don't lose many games in that building. We knew they were going to make a run. Inside, Damian Jones and muscles it in. Odom fires a three and hands it. And the Commodores have scratched back to within seven. There's Fuller on the run out. And the layup. Commodores are down only five. White, bottom of the net. Tells the crowd to be quiet as he backpedals down the floor. I was just in the moment, you know. You know, like I said, the crowd got into it, and I feel like anybody could have made the play. And, you, know, uh, you know, Marshall Henderson would have shot the three point or made or made a play. You know, I, I'm quite sure he would have did something to the crowd too, to, to, just to bring the momentum down. You know, because the momentum, like I said, is it, it can get to you and, and bring and bring a game down. Only 12 points for Ole Miss here in the second half and over 11 minutes of play has allowed Vanderbilt to get back in this ball game. Seven on the shot clock. To the basket and the reverse in by Damian Jones. And Vanderbilt, once down by 13, has cut it to two. Siakam gives Vanderbilt the lead. It's their first lead since they led 5-4 in the opening two minutes and 48 seconds. By them coming back, we, we just feel like we got in too comfortable with our league and playing not to lose instead of playing to win. With under 10 minutes to play, had to fight through some adversity and make some plays. Jarvis Summers continues to do that for us. Made a couple of huge baskets at the rim. Anthony Perez off a couple of drives. And then the next thing you know, it's a one possession game. We're back in the league. 
in transition off a loose ball. Uh, Marshall got free, got a clean look at the basket and knocked down a big three. And then, as I will have the tendency to do, if I see him hit one, we're, the next time down, we're going to try to run something, give him a clean look. We ran some action and executed it pretty well. Got him the same look at the same spot, and he delivered. Three. Henderson, rising, canning, there he goes. <laughs> There he goes, nine point lead for the Rebels. That's our basketball, like we are right there with the other team until something crazy happened and boom, that's our moment. That's what we like. Ole Miss, next game, they'll be playing Mississippi State on Saturday. The Tad Pads already sold out for the rematch there after Mississippi State, the only team to beat the Rebels in conference play. Henderson, ahead it comes to Aaron Jones and Aaron Jones stops it. That will do it. The Ole Miss Rebels have defeated Vanderbilt 63-52. Jarvis Summers leads the Rebels with 16 points. Anthony Perez, 13 and five rebounds. Marshall Henderson, 11 points. Uh, our guys, having been in so many close games, never flinched. Uh, continued to grind away offensively and defensively we were solid the entire game held them to 52 points some 15 points under their season average and were able to uh, to uh, manufacture enough baskets in order to give us a chance to win on the road